Hi, it's Mark Marin. I'm sitting here with Jim Wolcott from Vanity Fair magazine. Uh, he's one of the preeminent cultural critics of our century. How's that? <laughs> wow. Pretty good, right? Yeah. So you exhausted? You done with the politics now? <sighs> yeah, it's sort of like, you know, it's sort of like, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with all the animosity. I've got to see some movies. You know, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, I do want to, you know, I'm really dying to see Valkyrie for a totally uh, irrelevant but to me important reason, which is I met the actress who's in it. You know, like if you meet somebody, it's like, well, now I want to see the watch. Yeah, so the next time you see him, you go, hey, hey, hey you know, I hey, saw you know. the thing. But also then you could tell people, well, you know, uh, I actually have met that actor. You know, <laughs> yes, so, it worked. You know, I'm still waiting to see. There are people who say that Speed Racer, if you're in the right mood, which I guess they mean stones, but I don't do drugs. But they say it's like, like if you see it on a really good, like high definition, it is like, you know, you just sit there. It makes no sense at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the colors, it's like, boom. I've been uh, now addicted to The Wire. I didn't watch any of The Wire. So I've got Netflix sending me them every day. And if mm. I miss a few days and I go to my mailbox, I start jonesing a little bit. I start scratching. I, I feel like I need the wire fix. Were well, you, you into know, it? You know what? I'll tell you what, what we've been watching. Yeah. Not on HD, but with Netflix. The World at War. Oh, yeah? That series from the 70s. It was the BBC series where they cover World War II. It's like 20 episodes. And it's Laurence Olivier. Oh, yeah. And he, really, and he makes it sound so august and so horrible. Yeah. But it's like when you watch it, you realize it's amazing the world ever recovered. Well, I think about it all the time when I walk through New York and I think about, you know, what's happening in, in Gaza or I think about what happened in Iraq or I think about any other, you know, any other place almost in the world where war, warfare has destroyed it, where it's just like, what the hell would we do? Yeah. I have no idea how, I mean, I know what happened after 9-11, but me personally, if there was no water, if mm. they bombed the entire city, if something like that happened, I mean, in the day and age we live in now with the mindset we have in now, I can't even imagine how people would adjust to that because it's so insane it's like and uh two hundred thousand people died in this it's like in one episode whoosh, you know and then there's like one whole episode devoted to the siege of leningrad and I, I realized i wrote this in my blog i realized that i would last about five minutes in the siege of leningrad yeah <laughs> first time it got cold we had a brand on hot like i'm done yeah that's it <laughs> i'm just gonna go lie down in the street but it is sort of amazing because you, you yeah. realize that wow civilization has survived a lot worse than george bush i mean it's like yeah and thank it, god that's over yeah <laughs>